okay so let me start with my eyes um so i'm trying to like go with like a glamorous look today i think i'm gonna start with my eyes this is my mac this is a 24 hour um eyeshadow base and the nice thing about this is it's, it's clear so it really goes with everybody i'm gonna use my uh matte palette from Visar. I haven't used this guy in a while. I actually bought myself the one. Oh, at the Mac store. I actually gave myself the old dingy one. I put the new one in my kit because um, I loved it so much and I disinfected it and everything. I actually, I'm going to throw this out soon, but I'm using some Maybelline powder all over my eyelid just to create like a soft base for everything. Yeah, let me take this first color. I haven't filmed in a while, so I definitely feel out of sorts and a little lost. I hope you guys have been following my vlogmas. I've been filming every single day, and it's super fun to figure out, you know, what I think you guys would enjoy. Um, obviously, I don't like force a lot of stuff in my videos. I just kind of do it. A lot of people like stage things and whatever, and like plan things out. I'm just kind of doing what I do every single day. That's just the way I do it. You know what I have never really used? My Urban Decay eyeshadows, those original palette, those like dark colors. I like never touch those. I think I'm going to try to play with those too. I'm going to take this guy. Oh, actually I did write the names under here. Oh, Gunmetal. This is, ooh, Gunmetal from the Urban Decay Naked Palette, the Naked One Palette. Put that all over my lid. And I did my eyes first so that I don't have any fallout. Well, I will have fallout, but I can clean it better. I'm going to take a blending brush and then use that same first color and blend only in the edge of gunmetal. We do the same thing on the other side. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we'll see. Same first color and blend it out. If you add, need to add a little bit more, because sometimes it can knock off some of that when you're blending, go ahead and just do that. Now I'm going to grab the black right here, and I'm going to put that in the outer crease. I haven't really done a look like this in a long time, I don't think. Actually, I don't think I've ever done really a gray look. I'm going to put that in the outer crease. Like blend it in a little bit. I'm not going too far out. I don't want it to be like a winged type of look. And I'm going to take on the inside too. Okay, now that this is getting messy, <clears throat> then I take my blending brush, go in the same first color, and then just go back and forth between all those colors. Now I'm not even gonna lie, I don't really like this Urban Decay color that much. It's just not. I'm gonna spray my brush with the Mehron um, Barrier Spray. I've been I tell everybody about this spray because I just don't think that people understand how awesome it is. You can buy this at CameraReadyCosmetics.com. It's like the best spray. Look how like much glossier and shinier it looks compared to this one. But the thing about it is that it actually stays and, and it stays glossy for like ever, like all day. I'm gonna take a wipe and go under. I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This is the 219 from Mac or 239 from Mac and I'm going to take the black and then get closer in here just because the fluffy brush was a little too fluffy and it doesn't really get that well into my area the way I want it to. Now I'm going to move on to my face and then I'll come back to my eyes in a second. For my primer I think I'm going to use this guy. This is the um, Too Faced Hangover. My sister had this and she let me borrow it and she just like was like just take it. And it feels nice, like it's very moisturizing, it feels like an, a moisturizer. 
Nothing about it is particularly unique, but it smells amazing. Actually, while that's kind of settling into my face, I'm going to put on my lashes. These are um, part of the Vegas Nay collection, and I couldn't tell you which ones they are, but they look like this. There's only three brands, or three versions of them. One is like natural, and then there's two dramatic ones. Revlon Glue. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to curl my lashes and put regular mascara on. Jordana one is like pretty much the only one that I have that isn't waterproof. Whoa, those are heavy. <laughs> I always forget how thick these can be. Okay, lashes are on. Um, now I'm going to move on to my face because I said I would. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be using my Milani foundation. This one is in the color uh, 06 Sand Beige. This is a perfect Conceal and Perfect foundation. I already put my primer on. This one has a really good undertone. There's the other, the next darkest one doesn't have the same undertone as this one. But it actually works better in the summer, in the winter time, because it's very moisturizing. In the summer, it's a little bit too um, oily for my skin, and like, frankly, it looks like an oily pig whenever I wear it. But in the winter, it actually looks really pretty. And I only had it in the summer so far. And I'm so glad that I saved it because I was going to also close the door, you know, because I was just not happy with it. So I'm using my NYX Eye Brow Pencil. This one's in the color Ash Brown. Cool. So the concealer I'm using for this video is the Pro Conceal from LA Girl. This one's in the color Pure Beige. Now that my powder and my concealer and everything is on, I'm using my brush to put on some bronzer because I desperately need it. The bronzer I'm going to be using today is my L'Oreal Glam Bronze. I I hate that like it's not available now, but it was kind of like one of those like little limited edition type things. Um, but I like it because it gives me like a warmth to my skin that I don't I don't think any of my other bronzers do. I know um, I play a lot with Give Me Sun at MAC. I don't play, I don't use it on myself, but it's super orangey, so I think if you have that, you don't really need this. My blush, I'm using the color Peach Twist by MAC. I like this color a lot. It's, and I like it because it has like a nice sheen to it, but it's subtle. And before I do my highlight, because my highlight's my favorite part, I'm going to finish up the bottom of my eyes. I'm using the uh, same like small brush that I actually dipped it into the black with, and I'm going to rub that on the bottom of my lash line. I'm buffing that pretty low because I want this look to be really smoky. And the cool thing about this color is that usually when a black is buffed out really, really well, it tends to look a little blue. So it kind of goes with the gunmetal color. I'm going to dip it into the gunmetal just very, very slightly and then um, put that in the center. I'm using the Treasure Lee Black Eyeliner from NYX. And I'm putting that on my eyes because it's going to be super smoky. And dramatic. I'm going to throw out another layer of mascara. Now I'm going to put it on my bottom lashes though because um, it's not going to like even it out per se, but it just definitely adds something to the eye look when you add bottom mascara. Whenever I do makeup on other, like on clients, most times they don't either wear mascara at all, they don't curl their lashes, or they don't put bottom mascara. And all three of those make a huge difference to how like big your eyes look. If you don't do either of those, definitely try it. These lashes are so long and they're like itching the top right here. Ugh. The lipstick I'm going to be using, I haven't used in a while. This is from uh, The Body Shop and it's actually, let's see, it's called Color Crush. It's like a nice, like, everyday lipstick. Mm, does that go? I think it needs to be a little more nude. This is the color um, Matte Naked by Milani. It's a lighter color for sure. Oh, 
The gloss that I'm using on top is going to be the Maybelline Elixir. I probably should be throwing these out soon, but this one is in the color Caramel Infused. Do they still sell these? I don't even know. Oh yeah. That's right. right. Now for the final touch, I'm going to be putting on my highlighter. Uh, I think for my highlighter, I want to try something that I haven't used in a while. This is my Kiko um, eyeshadow. It's actually in the color 208. It's an eyeshadow, so it's you know meant to be on the eyes. But this is supposed to be a duplicate for Whisper of Guilt. I own Whisper of Guilt, and it's actually really close, but it's so tiny. And it's like red. And... Oh yes. Oh, oh, look at that cheekbone. And I kind of don't mind that it goes onto my cheek a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't want to just leave it. Yeah, I'll put it on my brow bone. I'm going to put whoa, a tiny bit on my brow bone, but that's a lot already. Um, I like using things the same color on my brow bone as I did on my cheeks. Just kind of ties the look together. Some of my nails. So that's the finished look. Um, I actually like it a lot. This color gunmetal, at first I was not feeling it, but with bold lashes, I think it makes a really cool effect and it actually looks very, very like put together. I don't really wear those colors often, so I was nervous about it, but it's like a bluish tone and actually looks really, really pretty on brown eyes because um, blues and greens and purples really bring out the brown in brown eyed girls. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't already, please make sure you're subscribing to my vlog channel. I've been vlogging every single day in the month of December for Vlogmas, and I also show a lot of makeup stuff that I probably don't show on here, kind of behind the scene things. Um, I did like a revamping my makeup when I was going on a date night. If you haven't subscribed on there, I'm going to have a little um, link circle thing in one of these sides so you guys can click on it and then subscribe to my channel. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.